What's up everybody, my name's Lucas, and welcome back to my The Outer Worlds Let's Play. So, we are at Devil's Peak. We need to decide if we want to, uh, how we're going to handle this. Yeah, all those guys are enemies. Now this guy over here, what did you say? Quit bothering me. I gotta keep an eye on the area. There's someone we could talk to, to maybe make this a little easier if we got those robots working. Let's see if there's in here somewhere. No, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's just go in guns blazing then, I guess. Let's see how this works out. What the hell? Hello? Where's your weak point? I guess that? What, what is happening? Stop shooting Vicar, Nyoki. Nyoka. It's a lot of fun. Shout out, fellas. And ladies. That's so satisfying. Still think it should be a different button to pick up stuff. I don't know the game dead, maybe they had their reasons. Level up. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we got here. Some skills. Ranged up. We'll get that up to 50. Next level up. What's our journal say? Oh, we got a new codex. That's what it was. Explosive barrel. Flamethrower, ooh. Anything down here? Uh, the murderer I killed. Alrighty, let's head into this place. Devil's Peak Station. Halcyon Helen, I like it. I'm a sucker for blondes, I would probably read that. Just because it's got a cute blonde girl in the front. Lots of enemies in here. Unless we're not be able to get in. That is so satisfying. I can't describe how awesome that feels to get those snap headshots in slow mo. Got a bathroom.
Huh. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that damn name, and on <laughs> account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. She makes a point. Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Okay, broker. See any Oka? Barricaded podcast. I can only hold out for so long. Let's get back to my system. Might as well play to that. So he be more willing to give me information. How many are there, do you know? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job permanently. I'll see what I can do. Even though I have no idea who you are. Baton. See the stun baton bullet. Damn. You know what? I'll it. Give me some electric damage to with all my damage. Elite troop armor. What kind of armor do I got? No, okay, you don't have armor, do you? Need to get you a helmet. I mean, I don't think I'd work solo because I love the uh, interactions amongst the companions. But it'd be nice to uh, be able to sneak around a little better. So, Rifle Ultra, you have my attention. It's heavy ammo, too, though. Uh, no, no. 
Got it. Mine, I say this calls for a celebration. True. This ought to square our debts. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Mioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? <laughs> Doing pro bono work for friends. Oh, friends. <laughs> I normally entertain your self aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you have earned some goodwill during your month's labor. For me. Yeah. Do it, or there'll be consequences. There is zero need for violence in this station. Look, I'll do what I can. Right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Watsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit. And they spot me. Believe them to be on Terra too. That was how Monarch was it. it would have been creature killing purposes round one of their stupid choice outposts. These are the coordinates of the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scrap. And, uh, good luck. Need the location of those chemicals, buddy. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. <laughs> you said that in a way that was almost believable. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Mm hmm. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclast are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights in their war against each other. Every time I hear MSI, I think of uh, the MSI computer company because I have an MSI la laptop. So I always think, like, oh, what is the MSI company doing in Halcyon? But obviously, it's different. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Um, can we cut them off? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. I'll talk to them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Mioka, pick me up some stimmy lotion and a bottle of purple berry wine when you're next in Stellar Bay. <laughs> okay, is there something else we're supposed to do here? Edgewater. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one for. Picker. Need my not picking up. I need to remember to do that. Here, 
Electro Blade Mark II. Oh, I have Inferno Scythe. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Head on down and see Reginald for Vicar. See what that's all about. So if anybody's made it this far, I'd love to uh, hear y'all's in uh, input on my channel uh, as a whole. Um, anyways, um, I'd appreciate it if y'all let me know how I'm doing. Like, just let me know what you think about the content. If there's anything you think I can improve. I'm still very new at this whole YouTube thing. Uh, been at it for a little over two months, and it's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. I've always loved gaming and getting to share my experiences with y'all, and um, hopefully entertain y'all at the same time is really awesome to me. Um, so I hope y'all are enjoying it. And again, I'd love to hear y'all if you have any feedback or any suggestions or um, recommendations or anything like about what games you might want me to play in the future or do let's plays on or anything so I'd really love to hear um, if you think my content's trash tell me <laughs> so I can try to fix it um, but yeah I'd really appreciate that So you're now we're heading to this riverbed, try to find, yeah, find Scholar. This place, I think I said this in an earlier part, this place reminds me a lot of Felucia from Star Wars. You got these, Felucia also has like these giant, uh, mushroom looking tree things and stuff. and Very colorful like this. I think Felucia has it beat a little bit on the colorfulness. But not by much. I hope this game gets game of the year. Game of the year. I think it's it's the kind of game that we need in today's time. Um, with all the basically, uh, frankly, shit games that are out right now. Uh, this is one example of a really good game out that ca that came out this year, and. Wish more games would go back to this classic, just single player focus, only focus on single player. What does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I've sure you've seen a corpse in these various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. Everyone has a part to play in the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the monarch evacuation, did you not? Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of Raptodon. <laughs> it's a little thing in the bottom, is that... Oh, that's my gun being... bad condition. It's unfortunate. If we'll ever get to meet Auntie Cleo, kind of hope we do. Seeing a lot of her stuff around different planets. <laughs> so I finished uh, finished finals today, or I don't really have finals per se. I'm in I'm working on my masters right now. I just had a lot of papers. <laughs> I finished my last one today and turned it in, so 
now I'm going to be on the edge of my seat for the next week or so waiting on those results for all my final papers to get graded and stuff. I have all age right now, so here's hoping it'll stay that way. Going to school to, or I got my history degree uh, back in December of last year, just about a year ago, and now I'm trying to get my education degree so that I can teach history. Always wanted to, I've always loved history and I've always thought it'd be cool to teach it and teaching history will also allow me to coach football which I love football I very passionate about the sport and I love it's not many sports I just don't like but football is probably the top one I, I love, I'd love to coach football and basketball or baseball or track or heck even soccer even though I didn't play it in high school I only played it in um Little league, but I'll do whatever. Just love the competition and stuff that sports brings on. Hello, Reginald. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Scientists? Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Ooh. Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted. Yeah, I haven't... With my <laughs> temper. I haven't heard you mad yet, Vicar. Can I say nothing? Yeah, I gotta explain. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. <laughs> Maybe he didn't know. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> I wouldn't let him beat up this guy, but maybe the book is what he says it is. Okay, okay. Talk. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Uh-huh. What do you say, Picker? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. So, gotta go back to Scylla, it looks like. Scylla is the asteroid planet, I do believe. Alright, um... Is Clive here? No. Yeah, what's up, man? You mad at me? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. No problem, buddy. Why did you feel the need to lie? You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long. 
I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. That's what I figured. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. You got it, buddy. Thank you. I promise I will be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Why don't you tell me you served? You never asked. <laughs> Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. <laughs> and that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. All exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Glad we got that all sorted out. Let's move on. I need to get my gun fixed here in a second. Hello. You shopping for pre-owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. <laughs> kind of gun show got. Are you out of vermin? Junk. There we go. Do I have a um, workbench I can use? Perhaps. Okay. Need to install that grip on my revolver so that it doesn't lose your ability as fast. Alright, time to go do that mission for um Oh it doesn't say we gotta take care of Clive basically. He's the guy that runs the Borstorst um, factory. That's the word I'm looking for. Meters. Not close, but not too far. So, what uh, games y'all playing right now? Um, I'd also love to hear that in the comments. Uh, 
I'm playing this. Started, uh, I'm playing out through all the Halos. I don't know if y'all have watched any of those videos on my channel. Um, and I've been playing Republic Commando, which is a fantastic game. I would recommend it to anybody that likes Star Wars and likes shooters. It's, it's a really, really good game. I know you don't think first person shooter when you think Star Wars, but it actually works out really, really well. I like can just see my path of the destruction basically by the lack of enemies. Oh, I say, as there's enemies to my left. Don't mind me though. Hello? Oh yeah, why did that guy tell me? Okay. Am I allowed here? Sealed, okay. Maybe there's a back way in? My leg! This is a lot <laughs> bigger and more guarded than I figured it would be. Is there anything back here? Am I just going back here for nothing? Looks like the ladder. Is there a way to... I wonder if there's a way to maybe disguise myself as a... Worker, go in there with that, uh, the shroud. Don't mind me. Oh. That's right, I got the uniform. Uh, yeah, what's it to you? I'm going to save real quick. <laughs> so I feel like this could go very badly very quickly. Spectrum vodka. Vodka. So I need to try to figure out a way to sabotage this place quickly. So I don't know how much uh, how much time I really have with this shroud. Oh, it's just oh, okay. Oh, it's a workbench. Sweet. Sure. Yeah, let's just keep tinkering with this thing. I didn't know this was a thing you could do. Damn, I just... Okay. So you can get it a uh, critical damage or noise range. 
that. It's pretty cool, you know. That's something you could do. That's a new scope. There we go. Am I still hidden? Oh, there's more. Oh. Yeah. Like I don't know what that means. Not only no, but void no. I quit. And he can keep my final paycheck. <laughs> okay. Let me save again real quick. So I don't know what's gonna happen when I go through here. Oh, it's sealed. the protocol I don't really know what that just did Can't I'm serious, can you? Aw, oh, crap. Damn it. I know, I'm not fighting, I just wanna... I'm gonna see something real quick. Do that without having to fight. I wonder if I'll get extra stuff from it. This is going infinitely better.
Yo. Freeze. Whoa now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? Just some freaky eyes, but private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Uh-huh. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing sometimes. <laughs> I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody forced wars. Uh huh. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Apology considered. Whether accepted is yet to be determined. Uh huh. Intrusions. And infractions really quicken me with anger. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. <laughs> Captain, I would caution that we tread carefully through the remaining morass of this encounter for the safety of all involved. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Uh-huh. Sort of something out. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy star sow. Listen, friend. The Force King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head and I will gift you a lifetime supply of force. Y'all could partner up. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cost myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. He ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. Ooh. You think to blackmail me? Try it. Your king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. Truth, you figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. Of course. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Of course. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits. Requiring she keeps clear of my short hair. That's it, then? It? A fair and handsome deal is what it is. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m. I should go. I don't know what the hell just... <laughs> so are you using human remains in the brought worst? If so, that's... Kind of fucked up. But I was going my way. <laughs> Thank you. 
sorry if you can hear my kitten, she has a upper respiratory infection, unfortunately, so she has some stopped up breathing basically, sounds like her nose is stopped up, I feel bad for her. So if, that's, if you hear like a, it's not like somebody struggling to breathe, it's because she is, unfortunately. Heart's broken for her, but can't do anything about it, she just has to, we gave her medicine, but she just has to kind of get over it over time. Let's go talk to Catherine. Hey, Jeff. Knock, knock. <laughs> Remind me never to get on Miss Leland's bad side. How's quiet? I do hope you gave him my regards. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my message. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his borts during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. Just do it. The world of other things in life, and your point is. All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here. <laughs> See ya. Alrighty, let's see. Where is this at? Slurp, eh? All right, let's go and head there. That's metal. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Mioka. <laughs> Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um. Yeah, then you just start broadcasting. You think we're the problem? 
Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? Unfortunately, it's hard to have not heard it around these parts. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Must be another way. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the bolts 52. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. How did you get kicked off the board? I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Um. It's true, the board has treated us unfairly, but I'd always envisioned that things could be different. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra 1. Very well. What can I do for you? All right, so I guess I'm gonna go do this. Help the help Sailor Bay out. So they'll stop broadcasting. Seventy five meters. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. <laughs> You'll get used to it with a taste of goodness. Here they come. Oh. God, this thing is hitting for five hundred damage. Holy crap. I was in trouble.
How you doing? It's getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. <laughs> now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, do you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy. <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Thanks a lot, mister. We got it. Wipe any terminals in the building. Launcher, hello. All right, let's go talk to the Sanjar. Interesting looking explosion. Alright, Senor. Senor. You start broadcasting now. If you were in charge, would you keep the board around? What can I do for you? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. <laughs> Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the dissemination of the proper ideals and information to those in the highest echelon of society. On the contrary, 
I would say good documentation is for everyone. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. <laughs> What does it do exactly? For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. What Mr. Nambi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. This better have be good. Help us with this final matter, and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, it'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. Mm -hmm. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? <laughs> I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Uh-huh. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? <laughs> what do you do? Of Think of uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Once you, uh, uh, Chuck Thunder. What do you mean, new people? <laughs> <laughs> Bring back proof of its operation. He's so awesome it's in that part. Letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. I'll do it. I knew you were the right person for the job. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Double eighteen. Go back to fifty. Let's pump lock pick. Lock pick seems very important. Perk. Seems pretty good. Alrighty, I think that is a good place to start. Stop. So next part we will go deal with go talk to Catherine. Um so we need to talk to Velma over at the fishery. So yeah, um Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.